So what happens when the theologians hand the New Testament over to the historians? What do we find out about what really took place here in Palestine during the reigns of Augustus and Tiberius? There are so many different pictures of Jesus. There's the long-haired Hollywood Jesus, the left-wing Jesus who wouldn't hurt a fly, the right-wing Jesus who probably would. Herod was the Rome-appointed ruler of the Jews. This was one of his palaces just outside Bethlehem. Luke strikes a theme you find in all four Gospels. Jesus is the Christ, but his kingdom is not about military or political power. The Christmas image of a baby in a manger challenges the expectation of a Messiah on his throne. A moment of cleansing and renewal. And so was born the one-off baptism. Jesus leaves the synagogue and goes to the home of Peter, one of his key disciples. Uh, many think it's that house over there with the spaceship viewing area above it. The battle began with the long range weapons, the catapults, the arrows, some of which have been recovered from the site. And you can see here where the Romans eventually breached the wall. According to Jesus, the golden rule of God's kingdom is a simple two-fold directive. Love your maker, and love your neighbour. I think we can say with some confidence that Jesus' habit of associating with sinners was not exactly Messiah-like. Keep in mind that the temple structure was 500 metres by 300 metres. 12 football fields would fit into its area. And Jesus stood up here and accused the temple authorities of turning God's house into a den of thieves. But by describing his coming death as the new covenant in his blood, poured out for many, he was apparently suggesting that his self-sacrifice would save people from judgment. It was as if he was the Passover lamb. Uh, this one was probably emptied by grave robbers centuries ago. Most scholars agree that Jesus' tomb was likewise empty shortly after his burial. We have an inscription that tells us about a woman called uh, Akeptus who uh, offered this table, a reference to the table in the middle, probably the table where communion was had, uh, in memorial of the God Jesus Christ. 